What's up everybody and welcome to this fun, sunny, Moroccan cheat day review. As today we are trying Milwick's candy bar. All right, so Milwick's, uh, can't read Arabic, but it's made in Morocco and uh, it says eat soon after opening. I uh, have no information about this because Wi-Fi is pretty much non-existent here, at least for me. And uh, yeah, so let's just try this and see what a Moroccan made candy bar and brand is all about. It's really, really hot here, so I'm trying to eat this as fast as possible. All right, so there you go. Kind of looks like a granola bar that's covered in chocolate. It's got layers of um, flaky uh, wafer. And uh, here we go. There's a cross section for you. Mm. Oh, this is really good actually. Mm. Okay. Biting into this, I was expecting like a Kit Kat kind of crunchy wafer kind of thing, but no, the uh, uh, paper pastry in there, there's a bunch of them. It kind of reminds me of something I tried here called Mil Fay, which is like uh, a thousand papers, translates to that, where it's a l bunch of uh, paper uh, pastry, and then there's this cream, and then it's layered with a... Uh, caramel kind of uh, icing on top which is just amazing but this is like a candy bar chocolate version of that with the same kind of sweet cream in the center that paper is very soft it is, it's almost like you're biting into a cake um, chocolate is very smooth it's pretty standard it's not like high-end chocolate or anything like that but you know I'd say it's sweeter than a Hershey's bar actually chocolate wise but I really do have to say, the star of the show is the cream. Um, I just wish there was more cream in here than the uh, thin paper pastry. But this cost me about two durhams, which translates to about 20 cents U.S. American dollars. So, mm, definitely worth it. Really good. I think I would give this one, as I wish there was more cream with it, it's it's pretty uh, pretty great for uh, how cheap it is here. I give this one, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's definitely worth it. I would pick it up again. Recommend it if you're in Morocco or if you see this at some import shop or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, got some more stuff here I'm going to be trying, so uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. I am DJ Glowing Ice, always wanting to remind you it's okay to cheat, even when you're in Morocco. All right, peace out.